All right, so what is the workhorse printer? So when we set off to develop the workhorse printer, what we were thinking was we wanted a large scale modular machine, okay? And the reason why we want it to be modular, we wanted to, it to be scalable, so you can make it bigger if you wanted it, or you can make it smaller, but for the most part, we were thinking large scale, okay? Uh, we really had a serious problem with the size of the printers that were on the market. Basically, we wanted to print big stuff, and we couldn't, and we had a we had a big problem with that. And we needed to print big stuff. So, our first criteria was large scale. Our second was modular, because there was a range of different applications that we wanted to try out. I mean, I wanted to print with clay. I wanted to try printing with food and chocolate and all kinds of materials. I wanted to have a CNC spindle and do some kind of post-processing te techniques. We wanted a large scale printer, we wanted it to be open source, it needed to be modular, scalable, and it needed to be able to do a lot of different applications. A lot of them, not just printing plastic. I had a big problem with printers just printing plastic. So what I really wanted to do was extrude all kinds of materials that are outside of thermoplastic. So imagine, your basic hot end extruder setup for FDM printing, actually just printing housing and container, more of a fixture to hold all the other media. So basically you print a set of layers and then you come down with an injection tool and inject a resin into the channels and actually infill a resin into it. Now the benefits of this is that you would have a very strong part, you get added composites and you can do all kinds of cool stuff. Not only that, it would be really quick. Injecting resin through channels is much quicker than printing a 0.2 layer height. 